Welcome to another HVA equipment video review. Today we are going to review a um, very interesting device from Massimo. It's a relatively new device and is the Massimo ISPO2 RX. So let's start saying that this device comes in three different versions. One with a lightning connector for iOS 8 and 9 devices. One with a um, micro USB connector for uh, Android devices and uh, another one with a third pin connector for the old iPhone 4. So if you have an old iPhone and you're not using it anymore, uh, you can easily turn it in a very useful um, piece of equipment for your anesthesia department. This device uh, can be used with all the probes that have an MLNCS connector. The probes are very easy to change so if you break one or you just want to use a different one you can easily and quickly do it here I have a standard finger probe but you can also use um, this clip that we normally use on the tongue of our patients in order to use uh, this device you will need to download this app is the Masimo Health Pro app and once you downloaded the app you just need to connect the ISP2RX to your device and it will automatically recognize it and it will open the app um. It's usually pretty quick on picking up readings. So as you can see here, we have the saturation, we have the pulse rate, we have the perfusion index, and here we have the platysmographic waveform. With all these little lines, these little vertical lines below the um, platysmographic waveform are for the signal IQ technology. If you tap on any one of these parameters, the app will open a pop-up with some interesting information about uh, that specific parameter. Here we have the history, so the trends, and here we have the trends for um, SPO2, pulse rate and perfusion index, and, but you can change um, the parameters that you want to see on the uh, on this screen uh, in the settings menu. Here the scale it will adjust itself um, based on the measurements of the device so it dynamically changes. In the settings we can turn on and off the sound. Uh, bear in mind that if your phone is in silent mode uh, the sound won't work even if uh, this is turned on in the app, so you just need to um, put your uh, volume on and uh, you will hear the, uh, the sound. Um, here you can uh, change the interaction between this app and um, the Apple Health app. Here you can change the sensor, so the same app is used for both this device and the MightySat RX. So if you have both, you can change, uh, you can switch between them in this uh, menu. Here we have some trends menu. Uh, so we have some options with uh, basically, you can uh, clear the history, you can decide how much memory you can allocate, uh, you want to allocate to, um, to the, uh, trends and you can also email the trends to you. Um, here uh, you can uh, change, so this is the trend settings menu and you can just uh, change whatever parameters you want to see in the trend screen. Here we have some information about the hub and the probe and here you have some support information if you need them. The hub is very easy to use, very user friendly and it can be downloaded for free uh, from the hub store. 
So this device uses uh, the Masimo SCT technology. So the signal extraction technology. So we know that conventional pulse oximetry works under the assumption that uh, by looking only at the pulse and normalizing um, the pulsating signal over the non-pulsating one, uh, oxygen saturation can be measured without calibration. Uh, so basically uh, it assumes that um, the arterial blood is the only one that moves, but that's not always the case because if a patient is moving, it's breathing, or if we are moving the patient, let's say from one part of the hospital to another, if you have an imaging suite that's far away, uh, this may not be the case. And so you may have some false uh, low or high SpO2 and pulse rate readings. And so this technology helps the Masim this Massimo device to avoid that. Um, uh, another important thing is that this device, as we have seen in the app, has the uh, perfusion index. The perfusion index, as we know, is a uh, relative assessment of the strength of uh, the pulse at the monitoring site. It's a numerical value that indicates the uh, strength of the infrared uh, signal returning uh, to the detector from uh, the monitoring site. So having these two uh, technologies together with the signal IQ technology in such a small device, we, we usually, it's, it's great, we usually have those um, technologies in uh, bigger devices such as the RAD5 or the Radical 7 and they're more expensive and they're more advanced. So having these two, uh, actually three technologies, if we um, also take into account the signal IQ technology uh, in such a small device that's basically as big as a cable, it's just it's just a cable. It's fantastic. Um, everyone nowadays has a smartphone that's very likely going to be compatible with this device, so we can actually do something very very useful with our smartphones during anesthesia. And the only downside of this device is that unfortunately the app doesn't give alarms, so it's very good for a point of care assessment of a patient, but is not as good for uh, continuous monitoring of a patient unless you always keep an eye on the app. I think that it's still a good device for uh, freelance anesthesiologists that they don't need, they don't want to uh, carry around uh, a lot of equipment um, when they move from one practice to another one, or if you can't have access at the moment to a pulse oximeter and you want uh, to have a backup uh, device always with you so this is very easy to carry around and uh, Massimo also gives you this little uh, pouch that you can use when um, you can use to put the, uh, the device when it's not in use. Um, if they will implement uh, the alarms in the app uh, I think that this device would be wonderful. So if you think that this device suits your needs and you want to try it or you already tried it and you want to give me your opinion, please do it on the ABA forum. Uh, if you have any questions or doubts, don't hesitate to contact me on the ABA forum. I'm always very happy to answer all your questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you very much for watching.